Friedrich Wilhelm Waldemar from October 8, 1888 to March 12, 1945, stands as a significant figure in German military history, particularly during World War II. In this video, we will delve into the life and career of Fromm, emphasizing his crucial role as commander-in-chief of the replacement army, Erzartsheer, and his involvement in the infamous 20 July 1944 plot to assassinate Adolf Hitler. Early Life Friedrich Wilhelm Waldemar Fromm was born in Charlottenburg and went on to serve as a Prussian army officer during World War I. His early years in the military laid the foundation for a career that would later see him in a position of immense authority and responsibility. Heading the Reserve Army In 1939, Fromm assumed the role of Chief of Army Equipment and Commander of the Replacement Army. This appointment marked the beginning of his ascent within the German military hierarchy. As the head of the replacement army, he played a pivotal role in training and overseeing personnel replacement for combat divisions of the German army. The Shifting Landscape of World War II The course of World War II took a dramatic turn when Operation Barbarossa faced setbacks outside Moscow in December 1941. In response, Adolf Hitler took direct command of the army and restructured the armed forces command structure. This restructuring gave birth to the office of the Chief of Army Armament and the Reserve Army, with General Oberst Friedrich from at its helm. This move significantly enhanced Fromm's authority, as his position controlled army procurement, production, and commanded all army troops within Germany. At the onset of 1942, Fromm found himself in a challenging position. He recommended a defensive strategy for the entire year due to depleted army stockpiles and the diversion of production resources, following the initial successes of Operation Barbarossa in the summer of 1941. Involvement in the 20th of July Plot One of the most notorious chapters in Fromm's career was his involvement in the 20th of July Plot to assassinate Adolf Hitler. While serving as the commander-in-chief of the reserve army, Fromm was aware of the conspiracy led by some of his subordinates, notably Klaus von Storfenbung, his chief of staff. Despite his knowledge of the plot, Fromm remained silent, agreeing to participate only if he could secure a high-ranking position in the new government after the planned mutiny. When the mutiny failed to proceed on July 15, Fromm distanced himself from the conspirators. However, on July 20, news broke of an explosion at the Wolfschanz, Wolf's Lair, on the Eastern Front, which had targeted Hitler and high-ranking officers. From suspected the involvement of Storfenbung and the plotters and attempted to arrest them as they initiated Operation Valkyrie, which had been set in motion using forged orders bearing from signature. Nevertheless, he was swiftly overpowered and imprisoned within the Bendlerblock in Berlin, the headquarters of the replacement army. Following the failed coup, Fromm was located by members of the Erzartsir and freed. Despite orders from Hitler himself to capture the conspirators alive, Fromm conducted a summary court-martial of the implicated officers at his headquarters. He sentenced them to death and ordered their immediate execution by firing squad. Retired Colonel General Ludwig Beck, however, was allowed to commit suicide, but when his attempt failed, Fromm ordered his execution by firing squad as well. Arrest, Trial, and Execution After the Bendlerblock executions, from sought recognition from Joseph Goebbels for his role in suppressing the coup. Goebbels responded with a sarcastic comment, highlighting Fromm's haste in silencing potential witnesses. On the morning of July 22, 1944, Fromm, along with other conspirators, was arrested. Although the court failed to establish a direct link to the 20th of July plotters, from was charged and convicted of cowardice before the enemy. Due to his earlier execution of the conspirators, he was spared torture and hanging by a thin rope, receiving a military execution instead. Conclusion Friedrich Wilhelm Waldemar Fromm's life and career were marked by significant highs and lows, ultimately culminating in his execution on March 12, 1945. His role as commander-in-chief of the Reserve Army, and his involvement in the 20th of July plot remain notable chapters in the history of World War II. Fromm's actions during this tumultuous period continue to be a subject of historical analysis and debate. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel.
by subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.